He was, to Gentiles. Was, he, was to he was speaking to Gentiles. So you've been lying all this time, haven't you, Hamza? You've been lying all this time. All this time you've so been lying to people, to haven't you, Hamza? So when he's speaking to those under the law, who's he talking to? He's talking to these Gentiles. The he was talking to these Gentiles who thought themselves under the law because a party of Jews had come from I, I, Jerusalem I, I, I don't think that's and taught them that they have to Judaize. I don't think that's what Shall we pull it up? Isn't it ironic we put our cameras away? <laughs> so all you guys that don't film, you're all filming now. Sorry, no I was having a conversation about this earlier because it seems like yeah. when it comes to like pagan tradition, you've got two sides of pagan tradition in terms of against Christianity. So you've got the one side which is Islam, the rabbinic Judaism, yeah. which is paganism about in that it goes, it's it's a it's a resistance to the truth. It's like it's like polytheism so, is like so just so I understand. multiple gods that can become incarnated multiple times, yeah. can possess the body. It's like Di Dionysus was believed to in possess and drunk people. Yeah, 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 it's like yeah, yeah. Uh, and, then there's, and then there's Islam yeah. and Judaism, which believes that there can be no incarnation. Well, but the point is, they do have incarnation in their Quran, if you know it, right. because the Quran right. states. So, so let's the Quran states, one thing. One second. So the Quran states Quran that, Allah, that Allah does appear in the burning bush. No, but I mean like yeah. rabbinic Judaism. And also, the Quran itself is an example of incarnation. There's been this tasvid which has yeah. been ex which has been inserted over time. <laughs> Of opinions which so are not in the Quran. So in Galatians, your claim is this that Paul's preaching to Gentiles, yeah? Yeah, he's preaching to Gentiles. Okay. Yeah. For all who rely on the works of the law. Passage, please. Chapter. Chapter and verse, yeah? please. All, chapter and verse. I've already told you. Which one was it? Please? Galatians 3.10. Galatians 3.10. For all who rely on the works of the law yes. are under a curse as it is written. Curse to everyone who does not continue to do everything written in the book of the law. Yeah. Clearly, no one who relies on the law is justified. No one who relies on the righteous. No one who relies on the law is justified before God because the righteous will live by faith. The law is not based on faith. On the contrary, it says the person who does these things will live by them. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law. Now, when, when, when Paul says Christ redeemed us, Paul is a Jew. Yeah. So Christ. Who's the us? So, so uh, the us is, is, the is speaking to those under the law. The us is the church. No, he's speaking to those under the no, law. No, the us is the church. Okay. It starts off. He's speaking the to church. those. Stop lying. Uh, uh, okay, I'll say the it to you. I'll say it again to you. I just read it in chapter ten. Yes. He's talking to those who rely on the works of the law. Who relies on the works of the law? The Galatian Gentiles don't church rely. was relying no, on the no, works no, no, of no, the law. No, 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 not at all. Let me You're continue. Lying. Let me You're continue. It is I'm just Jewish... reading the verse. You said the Bible's no, no, lying. No, no, it's not my problem. You're reading isn't Galatians <laughs> right. out of context. For all who rely on the works of the law are Galatians under a curse. So he's referring to them. And then Paul says, clearly no one who relies on the law is justified before God. Yeah? Okay. Then he says the law is not based on faith. We did that, but uh, where was we up to? Um, he redeemed us in order, oh yeah, sorry. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law. So the law now becomes a curse, yeah? By becoming a curse for us, for it is written, cursed is everyone who is hung on a pole. He redeemed us in order that the blessing given to Abraham might come to the Gentiles through Jesus Christ Jesus, so that by faith we might receive the promise of spirit. Brothers and sisters, let me take an example from everyday life. Just as no one can set aside or add to human covenant that is duly established, so it is this case. The promises were spoken to Abraham and to his seed. Scripture does not say and to seeds, meaning many people, yep. but you and to your seed, meaning one person, who is Christ. What I mean is the law introduced 400 years later does not set aside the covenant previously established by God and thus do away with the promise. For if the inheritance depends on the law, then it no longer depends on the promise. But God in his grace gave it to Abraham through a promise. Why then was the law given at all? It was added because of transgressions until the seed to whom the promise referred had come. The law was given through angels and entrusted to a mediator. A mediator, however, implies more than one party, but God is one. Is the law therefore opposed to the promises of God? Absolutely not. For if a law had been given that could impart life, then righteousness would certainly have been by the law. But scripture has locked up everything under the control of sin, so that what was promised being given through faith in Jesus Christ might be given to those who believe. If before the coming of faith, we were held in custody under the law, locked up until the faith that was to come would be revealed. So the law was our guardian until Christ came, that we might be justified by faith. Now that the faith has come, we are no longer under a guardian. So in Christ Jesus, you are all children of God through faith. For all of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourself with Christ. There is neither a Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there male or female, for all you are one in Christ Jesus. If you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's seed. Clearly teaching the law now is no longer you're no longer justified by the law, which was the accusation that the Jews in Jerusalem were putting on Paul, that you're teaching Jews who live amongst the Gentiles, they're no longer justified by the law. But here's the thing, here's the thing. Which then Hamza, explains Hamza, why, you can't, you can't Hamza. which then, can't keep up with fair enough. Hamza, well, Hamza, one second. Which, which part did you not understand? Hamza, Hamza, sorry, can I jump in, bro? He's, 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 he's trying to bamboozle me, he does this a lot. 
So okay, answer. by bamboozling, yeah, all yes, I did was read your scripture, mate. Yes, exactly. And How is that bamboozling? But, but the point is, what you, is what you ignored How to is mention, I'm going to explain to you now. What you ignored on. is that the church in the church in Galatia was a Gentile church. Was the Jews in Galatia? Yes, and this is the problem. So there was Jews in Galatia. No, no, no. Okay. But, the, the, but the point is, the Gentile church in Galatia was Judaizing. And that's what Paul is writing against. Now, this isn't just my opinion. This is the opinion of every biblical scholar that's ever read Galatians. Does Paul yeah. include himself? One second, one second. And when he says us, he's referring to the people of the new covenant. That includes Him. Jews. That includes yeah. Jews and Gentiles. Does the new covenant get and away so, with the law? And so when the new covenant is established, when the new covenant is established, the, the law of the old covenant is taken and transformed. It is filtered through the new covenant. Okay. The old covenant, as you well know, the Mosaic covenant was between God and Israel. The new okay. covenant in Jeremiah 31 is not going to be like the Mosaic covenant. What's Paul covenant. teaching Jews? They're finish. no longer under the law. He was to, I've already meant, I've answered that yeah, question. He was speaking to Gentiles. No, it wasn't. Gentiles who were speaking to those under the law. Speaking to I'm sorry. Gentiles, but what he to ask Hamza, Hamza, to those Hamza, 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 you might be able to, himself. Hamza, you might be able to fool As your fan boys, the but the point is, every single scholar that's ever read Galatians says that Paul is writing to a Gentile church. No. The only people, the only people that believe Hamza or people that listen to Hamza. Well, not necessarily. Any, any biblical scholar, <laughs> any biblical scholar, any biblical That's scholar. That's addressing, addressing my point. Any biblical point scholar says simple. Galatians they is not to under a the Gentile law. church. Where does it say that? N.T. Wright. Where does it say that? N.T. Wright. Where does it say that? Do you even know who N.T. Wright is? Where does it say what you're saying? Do you ever know? Show me where it says what you're saying in Galatians. Because, show me. let me finish, let me finish. No, you have to show me. Let me finish, let me finish, right? For instance, N.T. Wright, N.T. Wright, show me. Okay. N.T. Wright, who is a biblical is scholar, says that Galatians is written to a Gentile show church. Me. Show me where Dr. those James Gentiles are Judaizing. Dr. who is a biblical show scholar, me. says that Galatians is written to a Gentile church. Show me. Dr. Barton says that, Ge that Galatians is written reliable. to a Gentile church. Dr. Metzger says that Galatians is written to a Gentile church. So you've got all those biblical scholars and then you've got Hamza. <laughs> Who are you going to believe? So now we've okay. established okay. that no, no, no. scholarship no, you made a claim. Show weighs me against you. So weighs show against you. Show me what you've just said. Weighs against you. Show me what you've just said. That, the, that these Gentiles are becoming Judaism. We show me. Come to Judaism. It. We will come to it. Show me. We will come Why didn't Paul say, I'm not doing that? No, no, no. He doesn't well, need to jump through your right hoops. Now? Doesn't need to jump through your hoops. No. Why didn't? Yeah. Why didn't? And again, I'll, I'll, I'll make a point again. In the I'll Quran, make again. Say pray five Who times is a Paul? Day. Who why is didn't Paul? Muhammad in the Quran Who is give you an actual shahada? Who is Paul? Why didn't he? Who's Paul? Why didn't he? He's changing the subject. No. Who's, who's my Paul? point is the Hamza is working he, to a Paul? false standard. Even the a narrative about Paul that he demands on the road to Damascus. Bible, why was Paul on the road to Damascus? Apply himself to his own holy book. Do you see my point? Why was he on the road to Damascus? Do you see my point, bro? Why was Paul yeah. on the road to Damascus? So he's working. He's working to a double hey? standard. Why is Paul right? on the road to Damascus? Remind me that. Why was he on the road to Damascus? He was on the road to Damascus to persecute Jews. Sorry, Christians. Christians. Persecute Christians where? In, in Damascus. He'd received letters from the priests and he was going did to Damascus. Did they have authority? Yes, they did. No, they didn't. They were the Sanhedrin. Do you even know who the Sanhedrin yeah, are? Yes, I just were the Sanhedrin. Pharisees. No, they weren't Pharisees. You see, you don't know what you're talking about, Hamza. You know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. What's the Sanhedrin? So, so the Sanhedrin... Made the who? Yeah, I'm, gonna, right, I'm just going to demonstrate how little <laughs> Hamza actually knows. You all heard him. He's on camera, but I'm sure the Muslim will edit out this bit. Hamza no, said the Sanhedrin are the Pharisees. That was that. a lie. I didn't say that. That's what no, he said. No, no, I didn't. He said they were Pharisees. No, I didn't. Did you hear him? Did you hear him? I, 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 well, here's you the problem. You Did you hear him? No. I'll tell you okay. exactly what I said. Right. You I'll tell you exactly what I said. Right. And you're wrong. I'll tell you exactly yeah. what I said. Right. You don't even know who the Sanhedrin exactly Who are the Sanhedrin? Who are the Sanhedrin? The Sadducees who are and the Pharisees. Who were they? Who were they? Sadducees. What were they? Can you stop shouting at me? Like, you mean like you were shouting just then? Calm yeah, down. Speak. Yeah, calm down. Right. Calm Sadducees down. and the Pharisees. The high priest was the Sadducee. Yeah? They represented Rome in Judea. So not Pharisees. I said Pharisees and Sadducees. You didn't say that. You said yeah. Pharisees. No, I said Sadducees and Pharisees. Okay, tell me what the Sanhedrin did. Uh, okay. Can you listen okay. to him, man? So, no, he, no, no, hold on. So we know, we know, he's no, 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 no,
the Sanhedrin, the Sanhedrin are the governing authority of the Jewish people. Right. Right. So when the when Paul received yeah. letters of commendation, letters of uh, uh, commission to go and persecute the followers of the way from right. the, let's the, stop. The, let's the, just stop at this point. Priests. Let's just stop at this point. He let's had the authority to persecute let's, let's, the Christians let's in the city. What authority did the high priest have in, in Damascus? He had authority over the Jewish people. It was the highest court of the Jewish people. What authority? I've just explained. Well, he had no authority. No, he did. You just made it up. No, you don't know what you're talking uh, about. You don't know what you're talking about. The difference about. between me and you, Hamza, is I've actually studied. Okay, what's the yes, authority? I have actually what studied. What authority? Yes, I'm going to tell well, you. In a different kingdom, I'm going did he have? to tell you. I'm going go on, to go on tell then. you. Go on then. Because the difference between me and you, Hamza, is I've actually studied. I don't believe you have. Temple Judaism. I don't believe. And you're I, I, talking. No, 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 no. I'll say it again to you. Sanhedrin were collectively the Sadducees who made legal decisions. Right? They were mainly Sadducees. Yeah. The I mean, Sadducees? They were no, they weren't mainly Sadducees. They were, they were mainly Sadducees. Sadducees. Yes. It's like, how, it's, it's like, it's like the Senate. They were the highest court. Republicans and Democrats. They were the highest court of Jewish authority. They were the highest court of Jewish authority. So when there was a decision to be made about, you know, X, Y or Z, the Sanhedrin was the last court of call. They were the highest authority. They had the final say on what or was not defined as Jewish. So the reason why Christians they were kicked butchered, out, they the, the reasons all. why the Christians were kicked out of the synagogues is because of the Sanhedrin. Yeah. Right? The thing is, Hamza is literally a con man. He literally dupes fanboys that are right around us now and on his own camera because he presents himself This is the guy with nearly 200,000 subscribers. Yeah. I don't, yeah, anyway. Yeah, 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 you're, you're, you're welcome you're to come on the arena. You're welcome to come on any yeah. of my lives, mate. I don't hide from no I'll one. I'll debate you. Let's debate this. Yeah. I'll debate you next yeah. week. I'll debate, on, debate. No, no, I can't debate you here because I'm not here now. Right, we'll, 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 no, we'll, we'll, we'll debate life. We'll debate life. No, I don't. I'm not going to debate you here because of this grandstanding. I'll debate you live stream. Yeah, we'll do a live stream. And I'll debate you on Paul. No problem. Paul and Jesus. No, Paul. Paul and Jesus. The reliability of Paul. Well, ultimately, he's going to Paul and Jesus. No, Paul. Paul. Decisions right. They derived that from Mosaic law and from Hellenistic law, right? They, yeah, they, well, they, the they, 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 they did butcher the law. Yeah. The, Pharisee, the, the Pharisees and the Sanhedrin yes. both contradict Christ yeah. and both contradict Christ's teaching. So they're not a moral authority? They're not, no. Who? Yeah. Because they derived a lot of their laws from Hellenistic law. But, but, but all I wanted who? to point out, bro, the Sadducees. Right, the Sadducees. The Let me just say who the Sadducees are. The Sadducees are Rome's bitch in Judea. That's who they are. They, 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 when the Greeks were in Judea, they represented the Greeks. When the Romans are occupying Judea, they represent the Romans. The Pharisees were with the people, the, the, uh, the Sadducees are with the occupying power. Okay, so for example, this idea that the Pharisees had a problem with Jesus healing on the Sabbath. There's no reason for them to have a problem with Jesus having Correct. healing on the Sabbath. Because they, no, they shouldn't have though. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, because it's part of their teachings. It's compulsory to save a life on the Sabbath and it's recommended to heal on the Sabbath. Yep. So why the Bible teaches that the Pharisees had a promise, I don't know. Because they made their own law. This is, the, this is the first point. They had the human traditions that Second they point. put around. If the Pharisees are such this big enemy, why did they warn Jesus of his imminent arrest? Because some Pharisees followed Jesus. Which, which Pharisees? Well, uh, well the, no, not Nicodemus. In the book of Acts, at the Council of Jerusalem, it mentions the party of the Pharisees. So we do know that there were Pharisees who became followers of Jesus. Okay, who, who petitioned for the release of John and Peter from the Sanhedrin? Um, I don't know off the top of my head. After Galamiel, the leader of the Pharisees. Yeah. So the Pharisees petitioned. So here's what, here's, what, here's what you're asking me to accept to believe is true. And we can have this conversation. You're saying Paul was a Pharisee. And yet, it was the Pharisees who petitioned, petitioned for the right hand men of Jesus to be released, the followers of Jesus. And then now we're supposed to believe, now Paul is going hunting these same men? It makes no sense, first thing. Second thing, contrary to what he says, and he can back it up if he likes, that the high priest in Judea had no authority in Damascus to give Paul any information, any, any, any uh, authorization. It's a different kingdom, it's got nothing to do with Judea. No, you're wrong again. No, no. No, we you're can, wrong. We can, we'll have this conversation. You're wrong. Save the it. Sanhedrin. We'll have this no. conversation. The Sanhedrin will we'll have this conversation. as an authority what by Jews. Oh, okay. But the, the king. Pre you, wait one second. Go on. Hamza. Go on. Was the Christian movement at the time of Paul a Jewish movement? Yes. Were the Jews, did the Jews look to the Sanhedrin as an authority in their religion? In Judea, yes. No. No. The, the Sanhedrin were the highest court of all Jews. Okay, did they have authority in another country's, in another country? Authority, if it was recognised by Jews, yes. And, well, but does not the King of Damascus have a say in it? Of course the King of Damascus has a say and in it. And did the King of Damascus give that? Hold on one second, but this is the, this is the goofy kind of argument What's you're making. What's the goofy argument? The argument, the goofy argument that you're making is, for instance, right, there are Christians around the world 
that recognise the Pope as having authority over their lives because he is the Pope, he's the head of the right. church. So, right? The point is that authority is a moral authority, isn't it? So right. authority doesn't necessarily have to be a legal authority. Well, it does. In the sense, no, it doesn't. No? no How are you going doesn't. to arrest people then? No, it doesn't. So so the point is, the point is, when when Paul... Do we when, have Christendom? When, 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 working no, how? A slightly, slightly separate topic. Look, we're, 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 we're talking about Paul going with a legal authority yes. into another country, yes. into and another kingdom, to do what? And, have, and to arrest people. To, correct, correct. He doesn't have that authority. Do you, can you show me that he didn't? We'll do it. We'll have this conversation. Don't worry. Can, can you show save me? It, save it for the debate. It. Save it. No, no, I will no, debate you. Show me now. Show no, me I will debate you. Show me now. No, I will debate you. Show me now. I will debate you on this, no problem. Show me now. The reliability of Paul. No problem. No, 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 no. No, no. The debate will be about Paul and Jesus because you go around. No, we won't. No, we'll debate the debate Paul. will be about Paul. The, the, fine, we'll debate Paul. Oh, that's we'll debate Paul. That's it, but it won't be just on the authority. No, it'll, it'll be on. No, it'll, it'll, it'll be based upon whether Paul is correlation. It'll, it'll, it'll be based, based upon whether Paul is a reliable lies. source of it. Look, yeah. you've been. I was read any lies. Can I just confirm something with you? What about? Yeah, but what's that got to do with this? Find out yeah. you're really well, I mean, the, the thing is, the thing is, Paul, Paul goes with letters to persecute the church. In those synagogues, in those synagogues, those letters of authority are going to be recognised. Bring it to the Are you? No, do you you can't be so ignorant of scripture. I'll bring you, listen, that you don't do you know agree that your Bible is reliable? Do you agree with uh, that? No, of course not. But you're right. Do, do, do you agree that your do you agree that your Quran is contradictory? That's 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 do you agree that the Quran is contradictory? Why are you why are you running from the question? I think like we're talking about Paul. No, no, no. We're talking about your beliefs. No, no, hold on. My beliefs are irrelevant. You're working to double standards. My beliefs are irrelevant. You're working to double standards. And he yeah. might not You're be running experienced from enough to challenge you. He's I running! I answered, I answered He's your question. Running. I asked about answered. your, I asked about your answered. scripture. I answered your question. Is your scripture reliable? I answered that question. Why you should you listen? Why is it reliable? Should it should should a weak, but one second. It is a weak argument to say my scripture is the one that should be argued and disputed and not yours. Yes, because that is a weak argument. That is a weak argument. No, no. I'll explain why it's not. That is a weak argument. I'll explain why it's not. No, I'll explain why it's not. He's holding me to scripture. He's no, saying, what he's doing, don't he's you know scripture? You of you. And his scripture, your scripture, your scripture, his scripture is not reliable. Stand up. His scripture is not My reliable. My scripture has nothing let to do with what you, I'm saying. Let me give you examples nothing. of where the Quran is nothing. reliable. Okay. The Quran claims that a book called the Injil existed. There's zero evidence for it. The Quran claims that Jesus Christ wasn't crucified. All the evidence shows that Jesus Christ was crucified. The Quran says that there were a bunch of Muslims in the first century who followed a prophet of Esau. There's absolutely no evidence for that at all. The Quran says the Quran says that the sun sets in a puddle of mud. Thank you.